There were so many, like the instant hex. There's always roars. We've gone this deep into the qualifiers. Very nice. As we might have a level one team fight threat off the bat here between these two. We'll see Shanks. Tashi waiting in the wake with the build strike may get caught. And nice shots to block the stairway. They're still going after Shanks though, but Akashi will die first. Ooh. See a melt to take the first kill. Chris in the meantime may drop as well on the Spectre. Ponyo, he will go down. See him and another kill coming out for the techies. Meanwhile, they all group up, but CML, CML maybe needs to back off now because WS has got a double kill of his own. Looks like they're going to be both fine. I, I, is basically a melee hero though, without the side blades, and then mildly awkward land for Akashi into an Arc Warden. And there is a lot of play. We talked about the strengths of that tag team plus the rundown from Tino. It is something to always be cautious about, especially as the levels scale up. No blocks in the camp, so they've got access to pulse later on. Not too much Ponyo can do, although. Get up the mark with those shots from Shanks and now Akashi. And go after the task and Shanks, he may be paying for the aggression as he does go down. Akashi now looking towards Tino, wanting to really apply the pressure. Ooh. And oh my goodness, that's a lot of damage. I think Akashi's got him. Tino, he will go down to Ponyo. But off the back of one miss shards. Not be happening in this lane. You still have to be cautious on Shanks, going a little bit far forward like that. I mean, the early melt strike is really, really strong, but that armor reduction melts heroes quite fast. And Akashi doing a ton of work. I mean, no side blades being so close, it is risky. And they do manage to get the shards this time. Lux comes in a bit, a little bit late here on Takashi. Still, the chase will continue. Oh. But Shanks dropping low again. Akashi spanning right up, but oh. eventually he will fall. As they also find Krish across the map. Krish goes down. Now CML dropping to boot. Joe Cam finds a double. It's just everyone's dying across the map. The mindset of Shanks, just looking for that aggression. It's so strong for lane, but the TA is just doing way too much damage. And the Crystal Maiden counter control is too strong as Krish. Yeah, top lane, Krish in danger again on the Spectre. There is going to be rotations coming in from Shanks to try and help Krish out. They will snowball Krish away. Joe Cam though still going, and WS is able to secure the kill onto the Spectre as Joe Cam is Ooh, still alive. Joe Cam cancels the blast off midway with the Earth Spike. Joe Cam going to walk his way out. WS picks up a triple. Here comes Bob to try and help the mag, but it's too late. It is just too damn late. Targeted, but he does stay on the right side of that mid lane. Chuen still trying to get some more damage off here. Won't be too much. In fact, Snowball is going to come out from Shanks. They are going to try and make the jump in onto that DK. Blast off cancelled oh, again Joe by Cam. Joe Cam. And with that, I mean, well, the mag, he's in a bit of danger now, Bob. Trying to find a way out of this scenario. Meanwhile, Chuen is still backing his way out. Akashi will hold the line. They have taken down Ponyo, but that's all they've gotten so far. Tino is still trying to deal with the DK. But Chuen, he is able to walk away. That he is. They're going to try. Watch out. Got to step in from Chris. Chuen, I mean, not that tanky with the Spirit Wrestle out from Tino. He is gone. Spirit Vessel timing from Tino makes it happen. With that, I mean, it's still a lot of heroes being committed for that DK kill, but bonus of, of Bob being provided. Maybe he can farm an escalated pace, but still against the TA of Akashi, he's just nowhere near that speed of farm. Actually, I wonder what kind of item he goes for next. Do you want the blink? Do you want the BKB? In fact, hold that thought, because there is a roar to fly out of Bob, but he did get the skewer away, so he is safely out of range of talent if they do lose Ponyo. Consecration, wanting a bit more. Shards are going to catch Joe Camp, so the Lion in huge trouble, but here comes Akashi going after Shanks. Meanwhile, Bob, he's committed the RP on WS, but it does nothing. Akashi, down to drop very low on the TA, will still turn for Chris. They do go, both go down, in fact. Tino in the meantime, Tino being chased by a big mud golem oh. is down. Unfortunate. It's Bob still on the run. Chuen not leaving the man alone. Bob should eventually tick out and he does. A 4 for 2 trade in the favor of Talon. The only survivor. Execration still set up for this. If they are fighting without an RP on Bob. It's still down for another 15 seconds. And Hex oh. is immediately out. He never got the skewer off. It seems as though Bob is just gone. Oh, Akashi. Shanks, Shanks going down as well. Akashi just doing so much damage. There goes Tino to boot. Oh boy, Talon. I mean, they've hit their timings all right. 
That T2 top tower is not fight. So, uh, they know Bob didn't manage to pop it. It's risky going high oh, ground up against that. Although, Krish gets spotted out by Joe Camp. Joe Camp setting WS. up the easiest kill of his life. And now, well, at least they do get WS. He was still hanging around the mid lane. And I, I'd still say Krish going down is a much bigger deal. Yeah, it stalls out this timing for the Radiance for Krish. He's not the big tanky target just yet. Joe Camp gets a good hex. See you, See you later, sir. The easy kill here Joe for the TA. CMO getting more mines down, might be able to scout the smoke out for his team. Chuen eventually is going to spot him out. The CMO at the very least isn't the biggest kill in the world. But it is still a kill. CMO at least buying some time and space for his team. In fact, he's still alive, still running, buying even more time. Surely they can get it. There's a lot of space <laughs> being made by CMO. In fact, he might actually make it out. I think he has. Oh, the TP away, he's made it. Oh, would you look at that? Bob? Oh, Bob, though. Well, I mean, this is a bigger kill if they can get it. Problem is, it's two supports versus Bob, but it might not be a problem because Bob is melting and Akashi Ooh. just jumps in. But They're more than happy on Talon still making that work out. I and mean, Xer just trying to, you know, get some space. It would have been better if CML could have gotten a ward. I'm not going to be able to pin down Chu Quite. Unfortunately. It's a damage issue. Oh, Joe Ken? Oh boy, CML this time around not going to be able to escape Akashi just with so much damage. First down for the techies. Tier 3 mid tower. We'll let the creeps do the rest of the work. Bob is trying to find himself a skewer target. He'll find WS on the Beastmaster. The jump is there for no Chuen though. Way. WS is just not dying. He is not dying at all. Bob's the one in trouble. Bob is down. There goes the task. Shanks is down to boot. Tino's not too safe either. Akashi will finish off the Arc Warden. It is probably around that time to call it, boys. There is no coming back to this game one. GG. Jesus. Talon. They've got, they've got some hunger in them. Yep. Getting a really fast game one after a drawn out series up against Bleed. Did you manage to... I'm not going to say a word. I, I don't know. I'm not completely sold. Like... There's a runs the much better skill point for level one on the support. At least you could try to trade blows with Joe Cam, but I don't know. Like I don't see the synergy here for Krish. I don't expect any power shot to lead to too much either. He's getting some good poke damage, but gets caught out uh, by a nice bushwhack and is dead. Yeah, all right. WS picks up first blood. I don't mean to be, you know, I don't mean to be critiquing them so much, Jonathan. I just it just feels like a, you know. Eventually, Chuen should have his way with the urn. We shall see. Kashi again, still playing on the edge down of this bot lane, but he just feels very confident. He doesn't seem concerned at all of dying here down uh, down at the wall. Joe Camp, mid lane. Looks like he's going to die. Bob, eventually should have it. Slide of fist is back up in one. We'll use it to pick up the killers. Chains are also out onto Chuen. You ending with Jackal shot, but could at least try to get some distance out for the troll focusing on the power shot instead so just looking for chip damage onto WS oh, I think it he is has good to. damage he, I, I think he has to that's the thing like it's you must be right I think it was a flex pick that went wrong it must be anyway yeah. Shanks does go and a little bit of a deep dive nice little pickup for Chuen but bottom I know like you know, he's been jumped as well. Chuen doing fantastic work. And this is what I was just mentioning, right? Like, you, you get the Urn of Shadows up, immediately just start roaming. Might have been better off for Execration to run the safe lane Wind Ranger in a different support, but last pick five is really awkward. Good dodge out from Bob, but you see the pressure escalating now from Talon. The, the Shanks about right as they go. Chuen, he's just such a menace on this key, but. Annihilating one now, Bob uh -huh. getting caught, he's out of mana, Bob! Oh, he's gonna try to get out, but he's got only a sleight of fist to play with and he is down. Chuen even putting the hand up, waving him goodbye. Seven to two. You necessarily want here. 
I mean, he, he needs his items up. I think it's, it's, it's all fair play for Shanks to, to take the farm, but I think it was much more about desperation last time. But CML, speaking of desperation, is going to die. WS to take another. I, I, I truly do believe it was more of a matter of... It Can we go looks again? like five Smurfs. This is what I believe Shanks was worried about. This kind of jump here. It's still what Batrider does, don't get me wrong, John. But I'm just saying, Talon at any point could have just jumped his... <laughs> he just stood at the... He just stood at the firefly! Oh. Spear is out, TPs are incoming. Bob's in danger again. Bob's gonna try and juke around here. Chuen, Akashi, looking to fight back, and Bob is melting, and now a oh, four-man arena. arena. WS takes out Krish. Chris just getting destroyed. Akashi, though, does get caught by a rogue power shot. He will go down. Tino to go down to boot. This is actually not the worst team fight I've ever seen for Execration. They do find a couple kills, but Bob, oh. Bob will go down. Chuen is not done. He wants more, and he might just find more as well. CML. If Talon finds a way to lose this game, or John, I'll, I'll be frank, I wouldn't believe it. It's, uh, it's looking pretty, like a pretty tough one to lose. WS, quick blink away here from the side of Execration. Meanwhile, here comes the cavalry. All being caught out. Akashi on the CML. Look for the Wind Ranger, does have him. Towards the south, Shanks being chased here by WS, does also go down. Have they found another? Yes, they have. Tino's in trouble to boot. Sharpshooter gonna land perfectly. Tino trying to snipe Chuen, but he's not gonna get it. I mean, Bob wasn't even no. there. Need to wait. CML almost around the area to break the smoke, but does barely miss out. And well, that could mean the death of Tino if they're not too careful, because Tino is being run at right now. In fact, never mind. They have found Krish, an even better target. Krish will pop the battle trance immediately in preparation of the gank. And Krish is as good as dead. There is no surviving. They'll lose Shanks to boot. Akashi will take him out. There's been an argument recently about, recently about whether Steve Irwin should have been on the uh, Australian currency instead of that, uh, what's his name, the king now? Whoever it is. I you get my know. It should have been Steve Irwin. I agree. It should have been Stevie. Of course it should have been. Kane's out. High ground. Jackal oh, is there. Oh, Lasso oh. is out. But an immediate oh. yours is going to cancel. WS is going to be okay. In fact, he heals up half HP. Chris is going to jump in with a battle trance, perhaps. He does eventually Ponyo? He's, I mean, he finally okay. gets Ponyo. That's one. But he's dead. And it, it's pretty sad how long it took for Ponyo to die with that battle trance, I might add, John. Oh, now, no. on CML, is the wind run will save him for now. Power shot through Akashi. He could not give less of a crap. Ah. No cap. They do oh. get another one. They, they get a Hoodwink kill. They get a CM kill. They're going to force Talon back. They're happy days here for Execration. Uh, that was... I mean... This is the right play from Exa, even though it's a very boring play, but they're cutting and... Oh, well, they find Shanks this time. Yeah. They sure do. Sure one. It's just gonna give him another high five. Meanwhile, waveform forward. Tino's now being caught out by Akashi. He wants to just go for the kill by himself and almost has it. As Tino is just getting shred by the side of Talon. He's down as well. Talon, Talon, Talon. Looking a little bit too good here. And, oh, you know, execration. But they're still trying at least. They're not out of it yet. Yeah, they are. Not quite. Aegis does expire as well to manage to stall out long enough to remove that on Akashi, but... Under attack. We go again, top lane. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Akashi will get to work. Shaq always out from CML, does latch onto the Morphling, but really does nothing. U.S. jumping in, looking for an arena. Lasso is going to grab him though on the Mars, but where's the follow-up damage? They're just locking him down for now, but they're not really doing too much about him. W.S. still perfectly fine, sitting at half HP. Still chipping away at the Mars, but W.S. is able to just casually walk out. 
In goes Bob, trying to maybe catch out the Mars WS now with the BKB. is going to be fine as Bob is just getting annihilated by the damage of Akashi. Forced to walk away. Chris, in the meantime, he gets a battle trance off and fights Ponyo. But now he's below the base. He is just getting oh. poured out and down. Oh. He'll get Joe Camp. But that's just two supports going down here for Talos. And they actually find a core. I don't believe they can. CML needs to run. Shanks now caught out as well by the Spear of WS. He is down. And you do have an Ags build up on Tino now, so you, you've got that going for you. That is one way to delay this game out. So Kashi. Tino is still trying to get the damage out onto Akashi, but the turnaround is now upon us. Tino needs to be a little bit cautious. They're trying their best to get any form of damage on these cores of talent, but it just feels like they've got so much sustain. They continue to heal up. It's Bob Ooh, going in deep, but gets caught by a chain, and he is down. Bob oh. takes the tip from Akashi. But at this stage, it feels like more than the tip to win. <laughs> Rish trying to move in. CML barely surviving. Akashi still happy to just juggle in front of them. Constant mana coming in from Chuen. That's the implication of what you just said. You support I, board games. I Mark. know what I said, Jonathan. I'm gonna stick I'm gonna stick <laughs> to my guns. This is the hill I'm gonna die on, John. Here we go, onto the high crown we go. Talent. CML constantly just throwing out shackles at Akashi. Akashi could literally care less. Moving in on Tino. Would love himself an Arc Warden. There is a lasso out. It's on to the Keeper of the Light. She went dropping very low. He's gone. They have found Ooh. the Keeper. That's a big target. They'll lose Shanks while all this is happening. Meanwhile, Bob trying to go after the CM. Tino in the meantime trying to run away from Akashi. Looks like he should not on the Arc Warden. But it's four down for the side of Talon. Execration. They are fighting back. They are defending, John. Two down for Exa. There's three against one. It's Akashi versus the world. He almost takes down CML again. They'll drag him back with the Gale Force. Akashi going for the man fight. Will go after Krish, but he is now out of mana. Looking back towards CML. Perhaps Akashi just running towards the east or oh. the west of the map. But they've lost Akashi. That's a lot of cold. Oh. Going okay. Nice wards being placed here by Execration as WS going to break the smoke. Does see a couple. They will try to move on to the Mars, though WS seems to be just fine. You are Tino going to get hexed up. Oops, excuse me, that was oh. Bob. They're getting hexed oh. up, and Bob is gone. Holy, Bob is just down. Chris will move in onto WS with his BKB. He has not popped out of trance yet, and he's not going to have a chance. Call of boys. It's done. It is all over. Pino's gonna fly back. They are still trying. Yeah, they're gonna hang on, but options are very limited. Even these buybacks. Racks are set to fall. Tier fours are gonna be under pressure. And without that, without that lasso, I don't know what you do here. Speed back. They're gonna find the bat rider. They go for more, a nice shackle from CML, but again, needs absolutely nothing. Now, they're not calling it yet, but Shanks is not buying back. The game is well and truly over. Talon to go into that lower bracket final. It's Tino, gonna get caught out of here on the Arc Warden. He's gonna go down, that'll be a dieback for him. They fought back one more time on the Batrider, trying to drag them into the fountain, but now they're just fountain diving. Talon have had oh enough. God. Call the GG, boys! Throw the towel in. Let the torture <laughs> in. What, what, what are they doing? Bob, he's gonna try again. We'll go onto the hoodwink. Let's find one, but the ancient is completely exposed. Akashi will turn around and go after the ember. Bob is still trying to defend the best he possibly can, but he is down. Krish is up as well. Krish, he'll rush in to boot. BKB has been popped preemptively, does go into the battle trance. But there is just. Oh, oh Akashi! All right, Akashi's Mjolnir down. Brock. The Mjolnir kills off Akashi. But it doesn't matter. GG's <laughs> cold. The Ancient.